Hey, this is Corey Holland, and I'm going to teach you how to optimize a USB microphone for voiceover in GarageBand. I will be using the Samson CO1U, which is a USB studio condenser microphone. The results of these techniques will vary from mic to mic, so I recommend a fairly high quality microphone to avoid quality loss. Okay, open up GarageBand and create a new project. Either ignore or delete the current layer. We won't be using it. I'm going to delete it by selecting it and hitting Command Delete. So let's click the eye and open up the Track Info menu. And I also usually click the Track Editor, the scissors. But to save space, I'm going to keep that shut now. And I'm also going to go up to Control and turn off the metronome. You can also hit Command U. Now, plug in your USB microphone, and GarageBand should automatically prompt you to change your recording device. And we'll click Yes. But if not, go up to GarageBand Preferences, or hit Command, Comma, and click on Audio MIDI. Make sure your audio input is Samson CO1U, or whatever microphone you're using, and go ahead and close that. So now we need a new track. Hit Command Shift N to create a new track. And since my microphone records in mono, I need to switch my input source. So I'm going to click here and switch to mono 1, the Samson CO1U. And I'm also going to mess with my recording level. It's usually good to keep it around 60, 65. That looks about good. So now click Details. And I'm going to turn on Compressor. And GarageBand 08 has these presets, which I can select. And I'm going to use Voice Compressor Basic. But 07 doesn't have that, so you'll need to just sort of mess around with Compressor until you get a sound you like. Next, click one of these tabs and go down to Speech Enhancer. Click the pencil and check the microphone type and the voice type. The microphone type I'm going to leave as generic, but if you have one of these computers, select that one. And then I'm going to select male voiceover. And reduce the noise just a little bit. You don't want to do too much because that will lower the quality of your clip. And then we're going to close that. Now click visual equalizer or equalizer for the older versions. And... You might need to play around with the presets and settings of the equalizer, but I like to add bass boost to my voiceover. But you can choose whatever you like. Now add about 4 to 6% echo and maybe around 5 to 8% reverb, and you should be all set. Remember that these settings can be edited before, during, and after recording, so play around until you get a sound you enjoy. And you can go ahead and record. These are the GarageBand settings I like to use for voiceover and the settings that I use to make this tutorial. This has been Corey Holland, and I hope this gave you a good starting point to get the highest quality of sound you see. Thanks for viewing, and good luck.